Welcome everybody, and uh, as you can see at Resurrection, Scott is on a tear backstage. He is not happy. He is looking for David, I don't uh, doubt. He's looking for Busty, who is uh, actually going to be wrestling soon. But wow, he just gave him paid postman pain. And as you can see, Boston fan, new world FBXW champion. Yep, we kind of knew it had to happen sometime. But not until he actually had that TG belt again, because otherwise, we don't know what would have happened. But he's in a non-title match against Caro, the waistcoat wizard. So, Scott Adams, he knows where Chris Michaels is, but I would bet that he is looking for David, because David is not out here with Bosti. David very smartly is hiding, no doubt, unless he's not even in the arena. But that belt has just been bustified. Look at the B. But he is no B player. He is an A gamer. And it is kind of nice to see good old fashioned Bosti because, I mean, I've been catching up on old matches. And he was Bosti, then he was crazy creeper. Then he was Classy Creeper. Now he's just Boston Fan. Those bees are just so wholesome and American, even though I'm a Canadian, but we're not going to go into that. And he awaits his classy opponent, the boss himself, Caro, making waves in the news and in the media in his, lo in his local town. He's a West Coast waste coat aficionado he's a tailor by trade but he's a wrestler by hobby and Caro could make a statement right now this is not for the bells because uh, we got to save that for this October war which of course is Halloween what else would it be? It's October. It's FBXW. It's Halloween. And Carl would love to, though, be in the race. I mean, if he beats Boston Fan here. Can't believe I said that. Boston Fan. I feel like one of the old classic uh, commentators of yore. And there goes the bell. Let's see how... Oh! And Boston Fan... Right all over, Caro. Scott Adams. I, I'd i like to say I hope he finds what he's looking for, but I fear for the thing that he's looking for. Glad it's not me. I've been there, you know, sometimes. Speaking of which, Psycho the Clown wants to take me on so badly. Oh, and Caro missed, missed, missed. But Psycho the Clown wanted to burn down my office if he didn't get a hold of me. Well, guess what, son? You get me at Sunday Special. That's right. The next show this weekend, you get me. Oh! That's some nasty, dirty deeds. But the thing is, Psycho, you got to understand, like I said in the address, Oh, Kaho, coming back. You have to beat me. You don't, you don't get to just beat me up. If you want Crow at all, uh-oh, one, two, uh -oh. you have to beat me. Not some, you can't just do what you did with Scabo and get me counted out. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh, oh, oh! plain simple powerbomb. Oh, dropkick avoided by the waistcoat man. And we'd like to let you know that we have now become uh, a solid partner of the Sayer Prayers Foundation. We're now going to be airing their commercials. Fine foundation. Oh! Let's see at this. Oh, one. 
two, no. Yet the Sayer Prayers Foundation, a very fine foundation for those uh, young people that just need a little guidance, need a little encouragement in life. And we are partnership with them now. And oh no. Oh. Boston fan, back to his original self. Way back, I think it was like, oh, I don't know, show seven, I'm sure of it. Show seven, I would bet my bottom dollar. Just my bottom dollar, folks, because I ain't giving up anything else. It was round show seven. Him and Rugged popped in there. Oh, no. Oh, down he goes. And going for the bin. One, two. Oh, Carho. Carho looking good. Oh. Boss Van showing. Uh oh, and he is back. But he's going to have a rematch against not just Scott Adams, but RD, who doesn't get and get his rematch. Oh! Tried that move there, but he missed, and Dirty Deeds again. Carl is sticking with it. One, two. Wow, this Carl just might uh, be in that, that race after all. Boston fan did a beautiful promo. Changing of the guard again. It's it's wild when something you've waited for to happen and you don't know when it's going to happen. And then, ah, oh, it happened. And Carho in the corner. Uh oh. What's he doing? Roundabout. Oh! I think he busted him open. He busted him open. And yoinking him up, but no, Caro retaliates. When you see your own blood, you get a little bit crazy. Nothing worse than blood money. And Caro starting to feel the rage going through him. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna compromise Boston fan? Oh no! Oh the Boston line! Oh my goodness, one, two, three. That was the Boston line, folks. It's back. And there he is going for one of his covers. Kyle put up quite a struggle. But, in the end, Boston fan, victorious, showing us why he's champion. You bet your money on him, because he is money. He is going to put a whole new flavor on this, if he can survive the rematch at Halloween. There was so many great moves here. Carl, I don't think ever got a finisher in. But he survived a lot of it. Oh, and there was that major Boston line. And that was all she wrote. Well, congratulations, Bosty. Your new path begins, but it may stop short at the Halloween, the end of this month. Uh oh, oh, Scott Adams, he is trying to cause trouble with security, and oh, now he's going to the locker room to look for David. Is David in there? Oh no, he's looking. 
Oh, 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 he means, oh, wow. Scott Adams. This is a man who's bigger than Scott, and he's just ripping him. Oh! Right up against the edge of that table. What you gonna do here? Oh! Right through the table! And Boston fan is just getting a little bit like for what's he what what's he what is this going on? Does he have to worry? Is he gonna stay out there watching the fun? Scott Adams giving oh security a little a little bit something to remember. Oh is, is he done with him? Is he gonna go somewhere else? Oh wow, you never know with this stuff. Oh! And down he goes! Oh, all over the debris. And now he's running up the hallway. One security down. And oh, another security waiting for him. And now he's getting what for? Oh! Oh, just stamping him all over the place. Oh, and through the table again. He is wrecking stuff back there. And that's my office, no less. At least he's not burning it down like Psycho said he would. Yeah, Psycho, you just tried doing that. Oh, and all over that debris again. Oh, Scott is just destroying the backstage. Don't go near my desk. Do not go near my desk, young man. Oh, right in the doorway. Oh! What is he? Oh, and down again on the chair. And he's fleeing the scene, folks. Oh, oh, he's egging him on. And he's leaving security wobbly. I think we're going to have to retrain them. The Say Your Prayers Foundation. It's a group that the FPXW is in partnership with for the young people that just don't have anybody to show them the right way, to give them that good feeling. Here they meet the stars who thrive in the world, and they get to be a star for a day, walk down the halls amongst the other stars of the FBXW, such as David Rivera, Chris Collier, and Rugged Rebel. We were all young and no direction at one point in our lives, but these boys and girls walk with the stars of the FBXW, get to carry a belt, maybe even take one home. They get to be whatever they want to be in the company of the FBXW. We give them a place for a day to have that constructive encouragement that'll help them be better in this world that expects so much. These are the people that don't know any better and need to be told need to be guided, need to be given that shining light. Here at the FDXW, we like to partner with a group like the Sayer Prayers Foundation because the thing is, when you want something so badly, say your prayers, the Sayer Prayers Foundation. Well, that was quite the interlude. We like to... Oh, my goodness. Crow. He's going to start something with Trey because Trey started something with him there at war. And, oh, people are just keeping them separate. 
Trey's uh, days are numbered because Crow, he wants the Misfits to take their tag belts. And they have, they have the opportunity now, thanks to Adam beating Kordetsky at the cage match. But for a little appetizer, Jeffrey will be taking on Scar's Michael Miner just to see uh, what each one has for the other. Something that uh, we like to, we, just, we don't know how these two will uh, play together. Let's give everyone a, a bit of experience with the other one, and, uh, you know, you never know. They had enough of each other at war, but one-on-one -on -one might be a different story. We have the Sayer Press Foundation, lots of unfortunate youngins there that need, uh, need that helping hand. A little tap on the ass. And there's Jeffrey Britain. Tag champion, along with Trey, who uh, almost had some trouble back there. Since show 94, the Bullet Empire have had them tag belts. And they beat the Misfits once, thanks to Aaron Kordetsky. That's why we're thinking of maybe having a situation that's a little more controlled at Halloween. I'm thinking something that keeps people out and the right people in. Jeffrey Albritton always has something to say. A little bit of trouble at war though. Trey, Trey J there was stopping Jeffrey's pinning at one point. It didn't matter as much but it still happened and it I think there might be a little bit of tension between those two. <laughs> and there is Scars. The question is, what three people, what of the three people are going to be going for them tag belts? Or will there be a Freebird situation where you can alternate it? We're willing to go that far. We don't mind. It's in a stable. It's been done. Yeah, we can do it too. But I can hardly wait to see how the rematch between the one and Collier goes for international gold. And after that, folks, Psycho's going to find out why they call me the Gamble. Jeffrey Albritton, experienced in the business, scars, been around a lot in the last couple of years. And oh, scars has the uh, first advantage. Oh, and dragged him down. Scars not quite as tall, but he's not as, uh, he doesn't hype himself as much. He just likes to, oh! Well, that was unfortunate. And over he goes. Jeffrey Albritton taking control. Now, the only thing at, at stake here is momentum. And, oh! Totally missed that one. Oh my goodness. And Mike Miner. Oh no. Variation of white noise. Mike Miner motioning him to. Oh! Solid drop kick. Mistletoe drop kick, if you will. I don't know what to call that. Oh, he knocks him right in the kneecap. Over the ropes. Oh, my goodness. And the count begins. Oh, look at that. Right in the ring. Uh oh. Oh, and breaks his neck.
And what's it going to do? Oh! Neck snap there from the turnbuckle. Stomping on his sternum. And Jeffrey seems to be at his mercy right now. Uh oh, he's not resisting. He's just hanging on the turnbuckle and whoa, into the opposite turnbuckle. Oh, he missed. Oh, he had his number. Oh, my goodness. Scar's just got another scar, I think. Oh, sit down, power bomb. Picking up scars and oh, retaliation by scars. Uh oh, what's this now? Oh, and Jeffrey Albritton resists. And Scars is down again. Oh, an elbow drop to the sternum. What's he going to do? Oh! He did a little too much pep in that step. He got a little over cocky. But he seems to be back on top of him. Whoa. Oh, got knocked down to the floor. The mat. The count begins. Oh. Mike Meyer has the upper hand, and that count continues upward. Oh, and he kicks him away. Jeffrey Albritton getting revved up. Oh, he's doing a little bit of flaunting there and taunting. Uh oh. Dethroner. Oh no. Oh wow, that's something. Uh oh. Oh, and he hit that turnbuckle. And what's he doing now? Is he. Oh, and he gets him again. What? That is a cheap victory. He gave him a double turnbuckle post knock in the head. Just, just, look at that. See, he's not even happy with that one. He had to make sure and just runs in under the wire. Wow, I guess you got to win. Now you got to win, Jeffrey. You want to call that momentum? But Jody Kidd, that is not how you're going to beat me. No, you have to beat me in the ring. Well, everybody... We'll see you at Sunday. We're going to see the International Gold up for grabs in a rematch, and you're going to see me. See you then.